The next thing that I'm going to do is to replace out my inside circle corners on my yellow and white faces and the up and down layers. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to look for one that's incorrect up here and I'm going to turn the correct color onto it so I'm going to replace it out with the yellow so that will be correct in the end and then I'm going to flip it upside down in this row and I'm going to flip it upside down with my right hand down sequence of down, down, up, up replace the edge across and again down, down, up, up and you can see that the edge is going in upside down. Now, being at, being in the upside down position, it's going to require a white piece there to be correct. So I'll just turn a white piece onto it, and then I'll flip it upside down again, back into where it was, with the opposite manoeuvre, which is the opposite sequence, which is down my left hand, down, down, up, up. Place the edge back across, and catching down, down, up, up and you can see that that edge is now correct we've got one more to replace out this one here it's got the correct yellow one on it there so I'll flip it upside down and to keep it consistent so that I get it right all the time I'll go down with my right hand, down, up, up Place the edge across, down, down, up, up, and turn, because it's upside down, again it needs a white one on it, and backwards again, down, down, up, up, place the edge back across, and down, down, up, up. Alright. Um, as you can see now, all of my inside circle corners have been placed and my cube is reduced. Now that I've got my Venus cube reduced to a circle cube with all of my edge pieces correctly placed, what I'm going to do is orientate and then place my corner pieces. I'm going to be using my white and yellow faces as my up and down faces and therefore I'm going to be orientating the corners uh, for white and yellow. Either colour would, would be okay orientated as long as white or yellow is orientated I'm happy. I'm going to orientate with soon and because I'm going to orientate with soon I'm going to need my a bandaged face, and in this case I'll just turn my white face down to the side so that I can orientate with soon. So I'm going to turn my white face down onto my blue face. I will be displacing some of the outside edge pieces when I do this around here on the up and down layers, but I won't be displacing any of the inside edge pieces which will make it easy to see when I go to line them back up again. I will be using algorithms like soon and anti soon and the tower cube algorithm for switching corners vertically like that and I'll also be using just a, a straight 180 degree switch like that on occasion. Now let's go ahead and see how this pans out. I've got two corners there that are orientated correctly so I could just, my first instinct would be to sorry, turn them to that side, turn these two correctly orientated corners to that side and just do a straight corner switch like that to orientate that side, that a complete side. But just to show you how all this works and scramble my cube up a bit more, uh, I'll just move them like that and switch one down with that type of turn. So I've got three down the bottom. I can use my tower cube algorithm to switch that out and put it back down there and now I've got four of my corners correctly orientated down the bottom I can use soon 
to orientate these pieces here. You'll need to know how to apply soon to corners in order to orientate them. I know that I'll need these two here in order to apply it and get a pattern where I've got one piece orientated and one down here and then reapply it to orientate all of my corner pieces and now I've got what I'm after I've got all of my corner pieces orientated correctly now the cube looks completely scrambled but it's not I'm just going to replace some edge pieces now the first thing I'm going to do is to line up on the red face here the red and yellow inside edges now my edge is correctly placed there so I don't have to worry about that one I'm going to now line up my red and white pieces there and there they are I'm not switching layers with the inside edge pieces I'm just switching them around I just have to turn turn each layer and they'll appear now I want the red and white outside edge piece there it is there on there so I'll turn that down to the bottom turn this piece around to there and turn it onto there and back to that side so now my two furthest outside edge pieces are, are solved there I'm going to move on and do maybe my back one up the top here and that one's going to be my yellow and green there it is there I'll turn that into position turn that back and that, those two are solved my next piece is going to be a green and white edge piece there it is there I'll just turn that back to there turn it on and turn it back and notice I'm able to keep my corners orientated when I do this <coughs> I'm just replacing my edge pieces with simple turns the next I'm going to do <coughs> my other layer there's my red piece I'm going to replace my yellow and blue piece here turn it down onto my other layer turn it across turn it back and on that one's already completed in fact my cube's gone back to solved you can see how simple that actually is to, to do now I'm going to just return my white face to its position like that and with my corner pieces orientated it's just a simple matter of placing my corner pieces as I would in my edges first method so if you'd like to for a more detailed explanation of how to place these corner pieces now you can look up my edges first solution to the Rubik's Cube and it will give you a full explanation of how to go about doing it but I'm just going to go about doing it quickly here for those people that know and to show you basically how it works with my bandaged face at the top and bottom I'm just simply going to turn these pieces down into the yellow layer and I'm going to be looking for the I'm going to be looking for the red and blue piece and I'll go down down up up down down up up down down up up three times to place that piece the next one I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be placing this red and green piece which is there and just down down up up down down up up down down up up three times places that piece next is going to be the orange and green piece down down up up and for my last piece here I'm going to change to going up instead of down and look for my red and green piece and go up up down down up up down down up up down 
down three times. The next piece I'm going to be looking for is my red and red and blue piece. That's there. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Orange and green. Up, up, down, down. Three times. And my last piece is to be exchanged. Uh, both orange and blue pieces. And my cube is solved.